Oh, hey guys, welcome to your space. Oh, check it out. I got my Crew 3 Dragon mission patch, October 30th, when it was supposed to go up. Now, who even knows? Sunny with highs at about 76. You can take a look at the, excuse me. <laughs> Are you sure? This just in. We might have rain. <gasps> It's happening. Man, we did get some nasty weather in the beginning of November, but man, I was so looking forward to it. Can you imagine? You've been waiting all this time. I mean, it's been scrubbed, what, seven times already. Crew two has now detached from the International Space Station just a few minutes ago. I have the Falcon all cleaned out, ready to go, and now it's supposedly gonna happen this Wednesday. You always need to expect that they're not gonna launch. That way it's a surprise when they do. I've said that before. Crew 3 will be the third commercial flight of Dragon from Kennedy Space Center. It was said that one of the crew members for the Crew 3 had a minor medical issue, but that's all they said. So, nothing else has been heard from that. Now, during the Inspiration4 mission, they did have a problem with their emergency toilet. They had to completely take out the toilet and redesign it for Crew 3 mission. So, I just hope that one of the astronauts don't have the squirts, because that would be a crappy situation. Now, the crew consists of four exceptionally trained astronauts. So the commander of this mission is named Raha Cherry. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And he's an American test pilot for the United States Air Force. He's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For the Artemis mission, they're not just PowerPoint slides. They're actually metal is being bent, shaped, uh, formed to build the things that we're gonna use. And as a, you know, as a test pilot background, this is uh, you know, <laughs> a dream job to actually be involved in all of this. Now looking back, I would have told myself, hey, just, just pause and appreciate what's actually happening around you and the magic of the moment that you're in. In December 10th, 2020, he was hired by NASA to be one of the astronauts to train for the moon missions. Pretty much training them about duration in space and how to live up in space. Other than Commander, he will also be in charge of everything going on on the International Space Station. This is his first time going into space. Thomas Marshburn is an American physician and he will be the pilot on this mission. He is a veteran of two space flights to the International Space Station. He also rode on the Soyuz with the Russian space program. He also did a 19 hour spacewalk in July in 2009. He's also from Statesville in North Carolina. All around the world, those who train us, those who have built other parts of the space station and have contributed are immensely proud of what they've done for good reason. Love what they do and love their contribution as well. It's up to us to take very good care of it. When I was on the space station last time, people asked, were you lonely? I said, no. You're alone, but you're not lonely because you have four communication channels all around the world. You're talking to a scientist or an engineer from any one of four Capcom sites around the world, and the whole space station was abuzz with different languages, Russian and English, and uh, talking to people with different accents, and it's just a, a vibrant, wonderful place where great science is happening. Matthias Moore is a German astronaut for the for the European Space Agency and will be mission specialist on Crew-3. He joined ESA in 2015. Part of his training was to spend 16 days underwater for testing exploration strategies and develop tools for future Mars missions. He will be just the second ESA astronaut to go to the ISS. This will be his first time in space and he is from Skantel Wendel, Germany. No idea if I said that right. <laughs> As a material scientist, I'm really looking forward to my experiments in the Columbus module, working on new alloys, but also developing life sciences experiments, new technology for Earth. Especially looking forward to floating in zero gravity, 
gliding down into the cupola, the favorite place of all astronauts, and just observing our planet Earth gliding by for a full round 90 minutes, just enjoying the view. And finally, we have Kayla Barron. She is an American submarine warfare commander. How cool is that? She is a lieutenant commander for the US Navy. This will be her first mission into space as well. She's also a nuclear engineer. She is mission specialist too for the mission. For me, the dream of becoming an astronaut cemented itself pretty late in my life. I went back to the Naval Academy to work for Admiral Ted Carter. And because I was working with him, I got to go to all of these really cool events and meet a lot of people who I had no business talking to really. I met one of his classmates, former astronaut Kay Heyer, and she was telling me about one of her shuttle missions where they were building the early space station. And I said, you know, that sounds a lot like a submarine in space. She looked at me and she was like, it totally is. That's exactly what it's like. And that was sort of the lightning strike moment. As a kid, I knew about astronauts. I watched shuttle launches on TV. I knew we were in space, but never seemed like something that I could do. But I had really good mentorship at that time. You know, I shared that dream with my boss, Admiral Carter. He turned to me and he said, Kayla, do you know how you become an astronaut? You apply. And for me, that was the perfect mentorship I needed in that moment. I'm somebody who thinks really hard about everything I do, all the details. And he said, you know, it's actually pretty simple. You just got to put yourself out there and you never know what's going to happen. So I did apply and it ended up working out. Here I am. She's from Pocatello, Idaho, but she lives in Washington now. So both Barron and Murr are going to be doing some science experiments on the International Space Station that are quite important. Included also is the training of long duration space missions. Remember, some of these astronauts could get picked to go to the moon, perhaps even Mars. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, Crew 3 was supposed to dock up to the International Space Station and meet up with Crew 2. And now that's not going to happen. Falcon 9 will be launching from Pad 39A from Kennedy Space Center, Florida. The journey is expected to take roughly around 22 hours to reach the International Space Station. And once again, if I hear that it's a go, I'll be taking you there. So my plan for the Crew 3 launch is to probably hit up Cocoa Beach. I haven't gone over there for any of my vlogs and hopefully I can catch a good view from over there. So I'll see you again for the Crew 3 launch. Thank you for watching. The hell's my patch? There it is. Don't want it dirty. <laughs> <laughs>